hear us. Can you see a chat? See if people are jumping on there. Like a chat or anything. Is this chat? chat? Is this chat? Here we go. Hey, hey. We're not gonna start till five. So let some let people get on. <clears throat> subscribe to the channel. Oh yeah. Subscribe if y'all haven't, y'all channel. need to subscribe to our channel. And like this video, it hey will be guys. shared. So I need. Uh, what's the first one? Oh, that first. <laughs> gonna be, she knew she was mm -hmm. gonna be first. Who? Linda. Linda was in my business last night. These these people, I swear, just do damn dirty. Hmm. <laughs> Two minutes. I know, right? Bridget, you know what? You could get on your uh, on that and be the moderator for the comments. Now, how no, you do I that? Had an oh yeah, that's right. Course. And yeah. she could say something too. I don't too. need no moderator. Right. Hit like and subscribe, y'all. We can just answer the questions if we got two more answer. minutes. Thank you, Mildred. Tomorrow said, who we suiting up for? I know. I told her. I was like, listen, where my girls at? <laughs> From the front to back. <laughs> Come on in. We got a lot to talk about. Thank you, Lisa. Come on in, guys. Thank you. This is one of my new um, units from my collection. So we just added her probably, what, two weeks ago? Like two weeks ago. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Need some curls. The curls are falling. Oh, tell Granny, shut her door. Because we can hear it. Yeah, this going to probably echo. Come on in. We got a lot to talk about. It's called people, How Low Can You Go? How, how many people in there? 50. They're coming in now. Hmm. How low can you go? Somebody say that? No, I said I said it's called How Low Can You Go? These women are like, five o'clock. I'm gonna give them like one more minute. Mm -hmm. And then they just gotta catch up. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you guys are having a great Monday so far. Dr. Mike's El oh, Toya. Hi Toya from Houston. That's Mike's cousin. Mike Lindsay? Mm hmm. Dr. Mike Lindsay. Hey, what's up, Toy? Thanks for joining us. Y'all tag our friends. Hi, Sabrina. Get the bloggers on here. <sighs> Tea talk with your girl is it's, it's a mess. I didn't think I would be spending my day dealing with this. Trust me. So they know what they listening to. All right, y'all. It's 5 1. We're going to get started. <clears throat> So we, we call this live today because it's just it's, it's too much hate and, and, and envy going on with this cast, and we're sick of it. So I'm going to play y'all a couple clips, and then we're going to get into the reason why we really on here today. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to this channel because we're going to get this channel popping. Yeah, we got a lot of recordings to share with you guys tonight, so... We're going to start on the first I one, am. right? And the, and the backstory is, 
one of our castmates <clears throat> got on an interview and decided to put lies out on, on my wife, saying some random dude told her uh, told her that he had sex with her like two years ago. And mind you, this some two year old shit that we already dealt with. It was bullshit, and we it went away. But because certain castmates named Winter are mad today, she want to bring the shit up again and start talking to bloggers and podcasters about the same old bullshit. So this is what started. This first clip is um, Ashley, Alicia, and Winter on a on a podcast talking about this incident. Go ahead. I have no reason to lie. And she was like, at this point, at this point, I feel like y'all can hear about the skin. So we even want to talk about what was said or not. I can't say exactly. Told she got the nasty woman. But what was said? Like what? Not the worst woman. Because I'm not how you told me, but it was. Because I didn't understand why I was such a I fell out my damn seat. You want to get a sad? What did I say? Because I don't want to lie. She's mad because I got because the guy said he fucked in Raina. And I said, who did you tell? And she said, Jamie. Is that what I said? And I said, oh. Yeah. Then I said it. I said, oh. That's what he said. Huh? That's what he said. It wasn't a lie. And I know the guy. I mean, he's known to be a... A lot of things, but lying ain't lying. And, and she said he was a whore. That, that's what I, I was. I, no, see, Ashley, I was saying a lot of things. <laughs> I'm just saying the parts that I remember. That, that bad got that to do with the job. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I wish they would have stopped focusing so much on me and Joy, and have let the same way Joy kept talking about she needed time. Now give me my time. She came out uninvited. So, so my thing is when when Arena <laughs> says. When Arena is telling the audience, or she's going on these interview with, interviews saying that I don't deal with winter and winter is not going, we're not ever going to. Mm. Okay. Stop it. That's it. So did y'all hear that? Did you listen? Did you hear what those holes, these stank ass bitches on our cast on Love and Marriage DC, Ashley and Winter, Alicia laughing, making up some shit about me. Can you believe that shit? I know they go low, but God damn, y'all just coming up with any and everything right now. It's like crazy. It's disgusting. They are disgusting. And just to add to that, <clears throat> my you, Winter and I had a conversation two years ago when this all came about. And my comment to her was, if I'm in the same room with this guy who said that, won't you show him, show, show him to me? Let me say something to him. And she was like, nah, I'm not getting involved. So I'm like, why are you telling me that? Then I'm telling her, like, we on TV. People going to clout chase to, to say shit about both of us. Like, stop, stop bringing that shit back to the internet and podcast. Like, just leave the shit alone. We on TV. This is what people do. It come with fame, unfortunately. And she agreed. She said, because no real man would even brag about, um, about having sex with uh, Raina. And we moved on. This was, this was years ago. Now, recently, Raina did an interview with Carlos King. And he said, Twitter is saying Winter's relationship looked fake for TV. Mm -hmm. And Raina, Raina gave her opinion. And I said, it does. And it is. To me, I didn't think the relationship was real. And as you can see, it only lasted two minutes. <laughs> But the fact that Winter can actually go on and say out her mouth, Raina is mad at me because I told about this guy that she was having a relationship with. Winter, I've never talked to you about any guys. Why would I talk to you? We don't fuck with each other. We never have. So why would I go to you and say, why would you tell my husband? If I'm going to say that, I'm going to say, bitch, why the fuck would you make up some dumb ass shit like that and say it to my husband? Because it's not, it's not real. It's fake. I've been praying. I got, listen, <laughs> these bitches don't want none of this. I'm telling you. So, so the second clip we're going to play is Renter did an interview with Reality Rundown a, a week or two ago. 
And I saw the clip that said Winter spills the tea on man said he had sex with a Raina Tyler, blah, blah, blah. So that's when I said something on his post. And then Winter decided to comment on my comment, which started us in a whole back and forth. And see, that's the problem I got with all of them. They come on my post and talk shit and comment back. Then I'm not supposed to respond. That's bullshit. I'm going to respond. I think y'all know that by now. So this is what Winter told Reality Rundown. This is a blogger that Winter was talking with. Absolutely. Hey, hey, hey. Feels... First of all, she, she says that she put you on notice and she says that before that scene that we saw in one of the latest episodes, she had a conversation with you and she told you, in order for us to move forward, you need to stop being messy. So let's let's address that. So what Arena is not being honest about is that it had nothing to do with me going on live about her and Jamie. Carmen planned an event. There was a young man that was there that said something very negative about Arena. I checked him because it was a group of us that was around and he didn't care. You said he messed with her? He did. And I said, hey, hey, hey. This while, is not while she was married? Absolutely. Hey, hey, hey. This is not the place for that. Cut it out. Jamie, later after that, asked me what happened. Mm -hmm. I told him the truth. Arena was mad at me for telling Jamie that. She contacted Ashley. God is my witness. I didn't know this. Ashley told me. She contacted Ashley and was like, well, why would she tell Jamie? So she was mad at me for telling Jamie what the guy said. I'm like, mm -hmm. he asked me, what am I going to, I don't have a reason and to And that's your lie. husband. Right. She Correct. Lying. He asked me, I'm going to tell it. If something happens about your marriage <laughs> and your husband comes to me, at this point, I'm thinking you guys are a unison. If he's coming to talk to me, he probably, you know, he, you know, right. So, so what's the, Please stop. that was what we talked about before we filmed. Arena. So let me explain this. First of all, Winter never came to me about anything that happened at a party about a guy. She inboxed my husband without talking to me, telling me any of these lies. She sent it to him. Jamie sent it to me. Or actually, we were like next to each other. And you said Winter's up to her old ways again. She was sending him something about a guy at a party. So I'm like, some guy at a party? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. So what, what else happened? She sent you that message. You shared it with me. I never reached out to Winter. All this information about a guy at a party came straight from my husband's inbox from Winter. As always, she's always in somebody's DM sending re fake ass receipts like she did season one. She back at doing the same bullshit. Winter is just messy as shit. And she's irrelevant. So to be relevant. So I'm not mad at her because of that. I'm mad at several things that happened between Winter and I. Winter and I have never been able to resolve issues that happened season one. When she was getting receipts, talking about me and my husband, talking about my son, Jason. The list goes on and on. Tell her about when your thought, conversation before Ashley came and y'all seen. Yeah. So when we thought we were trying to move forward for business reasons for the show, we, um, Jamie and I were in Miami and one of my good friends was on a live that she did. And she said, Winter's on, um, a live talking about you. So I'm like, I thought we were, you know, okay. Not cool, but we were okay. And I said, so Winter is still up to her old ways. So she'll say, oh, we're good. We're cordial. And the next thing you know, she'll get on a live and talk about me. So that's why I really don't fool with Winter because all that back and forth, Throw your rock, hide your hands, all that stuff that Winter does. I can't deal with that. I can't move forward with her with that. So when we were filming this season, the uh, scene when we were at the Jerry Seafood, Winter, Ashley, and I, before Winter, before Ashley even came into that scene when we were filming, we filmed out a conversation between me and Winter. And I told the producers, I said, listen, I said, there's been an incident with Winter going on live, talking about me and my family again, and I need to address it before we move forward. This was the Jerry Seafood scene. So I said, okay, let us talk about it. They filmed it. I said, Winter, I said, before we move forward, you have to stop talking about me and my family on these lives. You have to. I can't move forward with you if you're going to keep doing this. So we had a conversation. They filmed it, but they didn't air it. They just picked up the scene from when Ashley walked into the restaurant. But we had a scene and we talked about it. I said, Winter, why do you have to keep going on live? And then you'll say, oh, it's not me. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're friends. I'm 
cordial with everybody. No, we're not, bitch. I'm sick of your ass. And you're making up lies constantly about me and my family. So it's not just about something that happened, which was fake news <laughs> about some dude. And we're going to play those receipts and that recording real soon. So finish playing. Was that the end of that? Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. So pull up what, I, what came in that inbox today. So kind of the reason why we even here today. So I'm friends with a few bloggers. And when y'all when y'all sit in these fake pages and send bullshit mm -hmm. to the blogs, yeah, they send them to me and say, somebody that? attacking your merge. I want you to see that. It's in the group chat. What you want, Brittany? No, nah, this before the, this is the first time I was saying so. Here you go. So one of the one of the larger blogger pages DM me today a screenshot of what they got, and it reads: Here's some tea for you to spill. This is the guy from Carmen's party who told everybody he slept with Irena five years ago. He's a former Baltimore police officer turned pastor, and and no, he is not the guy Jamie speaks of with the inappropriate text messages. Yeah, who who would her. know that? They said but, I should sue her. I but some, but somebody up up her up Winters and all them and Ashley and them ass. So I'm gonna block his face. But this is the oh lord, you got to hold it, cover it. This is the this You're not is showing it. this You're is not the showing that. You moved it. It's not showing it. No, it's no. Nice. I block. I can see it on you. This is the this is the message the blogger got right. So I said okay. I looked him up on Instagram. And it wasn't, it wasn't hard to find. I'd send him a message. Yeah, this is Jamie. Call me when you uh, get, get free. I sent it to Raina and Brittany because we just had a conversation about a, a pastor in Baltimore mm -hmm. that she knew. Right. So I said, this is what came today from my blogger page, right? Brittany, like, this is the guy I used to, I used to talk to. How they long both involved. Years. They Years both ago. They both was going to YouTube laughing and he, 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 ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. So, so Brit both of them are involved. So the and set, Carmen. So to set the record straight, Brittany knows this man from years ago from their interactions. They weren't boyfriend, girlfriend, but they did hook up and date. So Brittany still had this man's number in her phone. We have never seen this man in our life other than he said today he told us he saw us at Carmen's event and mm -hmm. said, oh, that's Brittany's parents, mm -hmm. but didn't say nothing to us. So that's why we are where we are today. Now... Brittany messaged the guy and said, call me, we need to talk. So me, Brittany, Raina, and the guy all on the phone talking about this bullshit that we're dealing with right now. Brittany, I talked to the man. The man agreed I could play his voice, and so don't start no shit about that. He agreed to play, said just don't show his face because he don't have time for this shit, and we're going to listen to the conversation. So listen up closely, guys. This is from the guy. That we talked to earlier, the guy supposedly slept. Hey, my fault. We're called. Uh, so I said, I said, Tommy, what is what is what you're talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. She's like, well, apparently, what you tried to say that you said to her. I said, I never said. Oh, Brittany. What am I talking about? Can y'all hear this? Do this yeah, if you can. I mean, and, and, and I'm going to tell you, honestly, bro, I just told them before you called, I said, like, we just, No, wait, 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 wait. What did you say to her? How did she get to this? Like, you relax. I said nothing to her. So she just, out the clear blue sky, just dreamed up a lie and said, you and my mom had sex. Have you ever even been... No, no, wait, 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 wait. What did you say to her? How did she get to this? Like, you relax. So she just, out the clear blue sky, just dreamed up a lie and said, you and my mom had sex. Have you ever even been with alone with my mother? Have y'all even been at events together? Please, thank you. Can y'all hear this? Wait a minute, y'all. We got to plug the um the speaker back up. Just stop, pause it, because it's not loud enough. Oh, 
Yeah. Hold on, y'all. We got to plug the speaker back up so you guys can hear. So this is the actual guy that Carmen and Winter and Ashley and her girlfriend, they were all keep laughing and kiki and saying that I was messing with this dude. So, of course, we called him. And he had some stuff to say about them bitches. We gotta find the uh, speaker. Yeah, they're definitely too old. Okay, listen to this. See if y'all can hear this. You and my mom had sex. Have you ever even been with alone with my mother? Have y'all even been at events together? No. So, so can you tell me how she got to this life? Please, thank you. Well, I told, I told Winter, I said, Winter, uh, one time when we were in jail, I was like, no, you know, I used to talk to this daughter for real. So, she could have took that mm -hmm. instruction, or she could have just came up with it on her own. I've never mentioned anything about nothing to nobody. So you said that Winter wrote you on Instagram. She DM'd you and said, okay, can you go back to that? She DM'd you and said that she told Jamie, how, like how did, if there's no lie, then why is she running to you saying that she told Jamie said lie? That's, that's my point. And that's what I was going to say because I called her. I'm like, oh, what is she? What is she? Because I'm on a Democratic committee. 
for Baltimore City. She liked my recent flyer. And I said, Carmen, what did, what did Winter, because Carmen wasn't even putting her involvement in it. She was putting it all on Winter. Winter said, Winter did, Winter. I said, okay, well, just tell Winter to keep my name out of it. I said, it was very weird to see Ashley in my story. I don't know that girl. I never met her. I said, and did she like in a post? Come on, man. I'm, I'm a state influencer. I see you watching my stuff. This shit is embarrassing. It's really sad, man. It's really sad that, that we need to sit here and talk about this dumb shit. You'll stop that, don't be. And then they, and then they sitting on, they sitting on these people interviews, literally saying, "Oh, he's a pastor, and I believe him. He wouldn't lie." Oh my God! Come on, man! Come on, man! Come on! They gotta stop! They gotta stop! They gotta stop! Man, when you when you irrelevant on a TV show, they got the other cast mates. I'm shouting you, you'll do anything to bring them down. That's the world I'm supposed to be in. Like, literally, Winter talked about this whole alleged rumor two years ago. And she said she didn't believe it because the dude was club chasing. She said, yeah, no real man would kiss and tell. I said, no real man would fucking say he could have sex my wife while I'm standing in the same room. And she was like, so she, she just missed it. And then here we are, 24, you bringing this shit up again for, for what? But from Carmen, but from Carmen's mouth to my ears, apparently she had told you this while we was at the party. I said, how? You think I wouldn't have said something? Are you fucking kidding <laughs> me? Not, 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 not you for me. I, I never said something. Come on, man. You, yeah, they, they, they are so this fucking what, terrible. This is, what she, this is what she told me. This, this is last week. I, I mean, <laughs> let me let me go to let me go to her number in my phone because I have her number saved. Right, her number is uh, right here Thursday. Uh, I don't know her number. I don't have her. Yeah. And I said, and I said to her, I said, she said, yeah. Apparently, went to. I said. Question, man. Magical. Because when Brittany said she knew you, I 
said, well, just what you said. I said, well, maybe they said, oh, I, you know, that's what they did. They took, they, took, they took the daughter and tried to think it you rain. And I was just like, yo, like, and, and I even told Tom, I even told uh, Tom in that. I said, I never did anything with that lady, nothing. I said, if anything, we didn't do the talk for me. That was it. So, well, how, how, how is the mother getting into this? Say it, say it, say it. Hmm. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> listen, man, I, I just ask if y'all talk to them because the only person I can call is Tommy, and I just called her a few minutes ago because uh, I saw this, what you sent me, and she didn't pick it up, which I kind of knew was going to happen because now they're going to have to answer where this came from. But I'm letting it go. Like, I don't want no parts of it. You can tell long as everybody take my stuff down, I don't got nothing to do with it. That's not what happened. Yeah, but well, I haven't seen nothing yet, but the blogger knows me, and he said, somebody just sent me there just a heads up. So, you know, where's yeah, the mic? Tell him, but, tell him, I don't, but tell him, but tell him, I don't want to be in that, because that's not what it you can You can see the day. He said he talked to my daughter. He never said that, and don't know how they got that from that. All right, well, I mean, I, I, I can't say what they're going to post or what they're not, but if you see it, you might just got to address that shit or it's up to you. I don't know. I'm going to address it, though. You better believe that shit. I hope you do. And I, I, I don't know. I'm going to absolutely address it. I'm telling you I'm going to address it. I don't want to be in that bullcrap. I don't want to be in that bullcrap. I don't want to be in that bullcrap. Yeah. Nah, I got too much going on over here to be involved in you know, what they trying to make something happen or they think they try to happen. I don't got time for that. I, I always wondered that. If she told you that at the party, why wouldn't you come over to me then? This is what Carmen said to me. Oh, she told, she said she told him that at the party. I said, Carmen, if you think she would have told him that at the party, that he just would have still been in there having a good time. Because they're lying. That's what I'm trying to say. They're fucking lying. Matter of fact, this is what I was saying. Matter of fact, when I when I had that conversation, we were on Instagram and so, and I said, why didn't you tell her? I mean, tell the dude to go speak to her. And I said, Raina would have been like, who the fuck is this? I don't know him. And she was, and she, I, why would I send that message if we had that conversation on her? I got the fucking screenshot of us talking about. It. And I said, ain't no nigga standing in no fucking party gonna say he fucked my wife, bro. Uh, what's he? I said, you got to stop believing this dumb shit you hear and see and saying this shit on the internet. That's your problem now. You keep, you, you so press for dirt on somebody, you say any fucking thing. But my thing is, first of all, that's not how I roll. Like, that's not even how I roll. That's not how I roll. Is Brittany still on phone? Brittany, you still here? Mm-hmm. Yo, nobody even know that I talked to you. Besides that, I said we talked. So this was weird. I don't, I don't do that kind of stuff. There's nowhere in my history where I tell people what I did. And for a reason. So I don't even understand why they would even bring me up in it. It was the easy scapegoat. That's what I'm thinking. And because you were past it, was like, oh yeah, he wouldn't lie about no shit like that. And it's like, oh, man, don't bring my title into this. Don't bring my title into this. I mean, but these are people, man, you know who you're dealing with, bro. You can deal with them recording. I ain't gonna hold them. I don't deal with them. That's the, that's the thing. Me and Winter have known each other since her group A church day. And I swear to God, we only had, only had small interactions. Winter came to Baltimore one time and see some dude. We were literally cool. Nothing ever happened. One time I came to get her because something was happening with her and the dude. Came together, we talked. I was like, all right, cool. She got a family house to shop. That's it. Me and Carmen. Like, I, I, I don't I don't have enough conversations with them. I haven't even spoken to Carmen in like two years since the last time I was at Santana Mars Golf Tournament. That was two years because I didn't go to last year. So, like, I don't understand why I'm being bored up in it. 
So that's us talking to this guy that all this shit about. And it's sad. It's fucking sad that these women sitting around making up this bullshit for clout, for tea on the fucking tiles. And we sick of this shit. And then they sit on Twitter all fucking day and talking about, well, Jamie said this and Jamie said that. All the shit I said, you said on fucking TV. It's on TV about your failed fucking relationships. So don't fucking come at me when I respond for that fucked up shit you doing. Now you got this man taking 20 minutes out of his day talking about this stupid ass shit. But this is not the first time they've done this. The first time was about him and we caught them in a lie. Talking about, about that. Me. Yeah. Talking about the reunion? Hell, no, not the reunion. Well, a little bit about the reunion, but you found out after the reunion that that shit was a lie. Yeah, we, we, down, at the, we down filming a reunion, and Raina and Ashley arguing and shit over whatever the fuck, who knows. And she blurts out that I had sex with her neighbor. So we like, huh? What the fuck is she talking about? So let me give you the story on this dumb ass shit, how pressed they are to throw dirt on the tiles. Her fucking neighbor lives across the street from my coworker at the time. And mind you, this is over a year ago. This ain't even recent. So anybody that knows me, me I throw events all over, all over the DMV. So their neighbor, who is my coworker, who I've known for 25 plus years, wanted to uh, have a pool party at, at the house in, in Maryland. Called me and said, come see the house, see if y'all wanna do a pool party here before the summer end. So my partner and I meet over at her house. It was happening to live in the same neighborhood as the Silvers, around the corner. So we over there doing a site visit, walking, going through the yard, looking at the neighborhood, about parking, all that shit, all the logistical shit. Her neighbor walks out of her house walking a dog and sees three people standing in the middle of the goddamn street talking. And I'm sitting here like, hey, like I don't really remember at the time because I just met her. And she like, I'm Ashley's friend, I met you at their house. I said, oh, okay, how you doing? Didn't think nothing of it. So what I find out later is that apparently she told Ashley she saw me in her neighborhood. And, um, and then she allegedly said, I'm always around there. She see me on the ring doorbell or some shit, making up shit for dirt. And then Ashley kept it till she got to the reunion. So the reunion, she brings this shit up for, for tea on me. I talked to the neighbor who started all this shit at an event that I'm having. And I'm like, did you, did you ever tell Ashley that I, um, you saw me in your neighborhood like last summer? She was like, like she saw a go, like, oh yeah, yeah, I did tell her. I said, why you tell her that? Like, I'm just curious. Oh no, I was just saying generically, like, yeah, Jamie was in around the neighborhood. I said, well, do you know she brought this shit up on TV? Like, I was fucking with your neighbor. Oh, I didn't say it like that. It wasn't like that. Just dumb shit. So then, 
I don't even bother my coworker, but I, did, I found out later my coworker and the neighbor went over to Ashley House for a cookout. And all this shit came out right after the reunion. And, and, and my coworker said she went off, the neighbor was lying, Ashley was talking about um, what she told me that, all this dumb shit, like why are you repeating some shit somebody told you? You didn't see me around here. This shit is crazy, man. So another attack to attack our fucking marriage. They need to worry about their own fucking relationships and leave us the fuck alone. So yeah, that's the point. It's just I don't even know if that's gonna make the reunion. It might, it might not, but that's just another attack of what we talking about. Yeah, it's just it's getting ridiculous at this point. And I've been so quiet on Twitter, guys. Like, this season, I told myself I'm just going to go on there and post. I'm not going to go back and forth with the cast. I'm not going to go back and forth with the trolls. You know, I just need to have this peaceful life <laughs> where, you know, I don't have to worry about the back and forth and the bullshit on Twitter. You know, but now it's like enough is enough. Enough is enough. Y'all putting out these fake stories, putting it out, sending it out to the bloggers. And we found out today, like, you know, the guy was just telling us all this stuff and how they were trying to get him to talk and inboxing him to share more information that's not even real. And it's a shame. These grown ass women will stoop so low, so low. And they have issues of their own that they need to worry about at their house. Both of them, all of them. They need to worry about their own household, trust me. Cause I'm telling you, I got so much shit, so much <laughs> that I know reliable sources that I'm just not even gonna talk about. Because I'm not that low down and dirty like they are. Let me see the uh, other stuff I sent you. I'm going to read this last little bit. Then we got, because we got real shit to do today. I don't know where it is. So, so this same blogger, I mean, same. Oh, me and you and Brittany. That's, uh, yeah. Thanks, Marcella. So this person that was DMing the, the blogger trying to get him to post this stupid shit, the blogger said, oop, do you think this will get brought out on the show? The person was like, show Ben film we watching from 22 to 23 film, but you can release this. The blogger was like, do you have proof? He said, um, I'm assuming it's a girl, say of what? Anything, anything from from him directly that proof that proofs proofs this. I want my channel to be held to, to be credible. The person says, as I stated, he said it at a party that Carmen held, and regular folks plus cast were there. So Carmen and Winter were there. Winter spoke on this in an interview she did a week or two ago, as to being the real reason Raina doesn't like her. As Carmen. Then the. Uh, then it says, so Carmen and Winter were dead. Winter spoke, we already said that. Oh, it says, also Carmen spoke to it, I believe on Kamisha's YouTube. The person said, the blogger said, how do you know this, this is the man they were talking about? The Winter and Carmen say this is this man's name. And uh, they said, he said it out of his own mouth. He'll inbox him and ask him something. I gave you the story. So the blogger who's a credible blogger was like, this is not a story. It's hearsay with zero proof. I don't post allegations and I don't post stories with zero facts or proof. You aren't even sure if this is the man when and Carmen were talking about and you don't have proof that that man says he was with Irena. So this is one of their little funkies with a <laughs> fake page, Huey Star One. So if y'all know who that page is, that's how pressed this person is to fuck with me and Raina. And it ain't work. And I'm done with this dumbass shit. You got some more? Nope, that's it. So tag y'all bloggers. Y'all share this. And subscribe to our channel. And the next time you see went on Twitter or on an interview, she's cat, as the youngest say. She's yeah. full of shit. They are dead to me. All right, y'all. Enjoy the rest of your evening.
Don't, don't let it go. Right?